The inspiration to do this was definitely this. If you kind of look at what this is, yeah, it's a broken mud flap. And how did this happen? Well, I'll tell you how something hit me on the freeway. I wasn't even doing anything. I was paying attention out of nowhere. Bam, something slammed into me. It took out both my left and right front mud flaps. And because they're plastic, they just cracked, shattered, and broke off completely. You can see though, it did not leave the car without some damage. So look at that right there. That's the paint. And if we look at the other side, it gets even worse. So let's just say I will never, ever, ever, ever be buying plastic mud flaps ever again. Instead, I have a solution for you. And it's kind of inspired by what's already on the market. It's rubber kind of rally armor style mud flaps like this. But I wanted to make mine a little bit more personalized. So I decided to do it my way. I'm going to show you how you can make your own mud flaps. For the front, this is what they look like. I just settle on a pretty traditional flap design. It's pretty rectangular with some curved edges. You can see it works really well. These ones right here are kind of high above the ground right here and you can see most of the debris is catching it's on the bottom portion. So I wanted to make sure mine was barely above the ground and you can see how much dirt and debris it's catching right there. That's all dirt that's hitting the flap and not hitting your undercarriage. And I have the whole kind of white theme going on with the Tesla so that's why I decided to go white even though the front is extremely dirty. This is pretty much what the front one looks like. This is all it is. And you're gonna be using the two OEM holes when you put this right here. So you don't have to make any additional holes, no additional drilling, anything, no modifications. It's pretty clip and protect. Once I get this removed, this is gonna be the only thing on this side, just a rubber mud flap protecting the whole undercarriage. But I wanted to do something a little bit more exciting for the back. And oh man, guys, this is what the back looks like. I think it's pretty good. I call this the egotistical mud flap. So you can kind of write anything in it that you want. I obviously chose the Tesla FPV because Tesla FPV and it worked pretty hard on this design. This is actually for the right side of the car. So we got to come over here. I'll explain why it's strapped down if you're interested in a second. But what's awesome about this is that it also is going to use the OEM hole, the one right here, and that's going to help secure it down. So you use that and this back part right here is to attach to the bolt. You see that bolt hole right there underneath there yeah so when it goes in it's gonna slide right over it and the bolt is going to go over the actual mud flap so it's held in really well and i think this just looks sick it looks so beefy so meaty definitely protection for the Tesla. Now, why why is it strapped down? Well, these letters actually go all the way through the mud flap. Could have made the mud flap thicker and have them stop only halfway, but I wanted them to go through the entire way. And so these little bits right here that are kind of just hanging off, I want to reinforce this whole area. And I'm going to try to do that with some resin epoxy. Now, you don't have to do this. Like I said, you can only make the letters go just halfway so it won't go all the way through. But I wanted to try this just for fun. I'll show you how to make these mud flaps or where to get some custom mud flaps of your own. To talk about the design and how I made the mud flaps, we're going to go into Fusion 360. So this is going to be the front passenger side. You can see this is what it looks like and this is actually the version two. So it's not the one that I showed you earlier the video on the car. The only difference with this one is that it has these little bevels on the inside. I think they're called bevels. You can see the difference, like they go in. And this is so that the material right here is thinner and that way you can use the OEM clips that come with the Tesla to clip it in. Otherwise you would have to get some aftermarket ones. It wouldn't fit all the way perfectly. Yeah, this is better design. This is the only update I made to the version two of the front mud flaps. So this would be the front passenger side and then this would be the front driver side. But the fun part is in the rear. So let's look at the rear now. If you look at the rear, this is the driver side. So this is the one we were looking at earlier, but the version two of it. You can see it has that part right here that I was talking about a second ago where you can use the OEM clips and you won't struggle putting them in because the material is less there. Still has that same design. All the dimensions are pretty much the same. The difference is on the back. I've changed it so it's indented and it doesn't go all the way through. This will be better one you don't have to deal with the resin and two I mean you're not really gonna see it from the front because it's just gonna get all caked up with dirt and everything unless you continuously clean it another improvement I made is this part right here so this is the part where the bolt goes through you can see now it's like hooked around here so it's all one piece and the material is not as thick as it was previously it doesn't need to be that thick after printing out the first kind of test one and that's just because I realized it's strong enough TPU is really good 
That's what I'm going to be using to print these. So I'm going to go ahead and print the new rear ones, the version twos. I'm still going to rock the version ones of the front because I already have those printed out. The only difference was this part right here. So I will now print these out and we'll go back to the Tesla. Oh yeah. And I just realized I didn't update this design yet. So let's close that and reopen it. But the rear passenger side should look the same as the rear left. So boom, boom. I just didn't update it on this instance of Fusion, but you can see everything looks the same. No worries there. Okay guys, so first print done. It's so thin that it really wasn't able to print out this hole very well. This might have to be a little bit thicker, at least at the base area, but this looks totally fine. The speckles are here as well, and that's because it's so thin and they only use like 30% or 40% infill. So if you're going to make it this thin, it needs to be 100% infill, or I'd probably use a better quality printer. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to use this as a prototype. We'll test this out. I'm going to put it on the car and we'll see how it looks. All right, guys. So from the front, you can't really see the mud flaps too much. They don't extend that much until you get kind of to where the side is. So if we're on the side right here, you can pretty well see them. So you have this one up here. This one looks pretty cool. Then we go to the one back here, which has this kind of an angular design. Let me know in the comments below if you like this angular design or if you like how the front is done where it's more flat because this angular design, it can go up to the front one as well. It's not limited to this back one right here. Tell me which one you think is best. So the pin did fit in nicely. I'm not gonna make any modifications to this. Just make sure you print it with support. And regarding the bolt right here, you can see that it's not completely flush. So I'm gonna raise it up a little bit just to make it more flush and i'm totally gonna make it just a bit thicker as well i seriously love how this turned out this looks so good in my opinion i i just love the little details i love them so so much And that's pretty much it guys that is how i did it and that is i think the best way to do it if you want to make your own mud flaps go and try it yourself so i've been driving around for about a month now getting ready actually to go to my seattle trip i'm driving from california all the way to seattle so get subscribed to see that because i'm going to be living out of this thing it's going to be crazy anyways let's look at the mud flaps so this is the front one it is very very dirty when it's pressure washed it actually still looks white ish kind of um yeah would i redo these in white probably not because even if you really really scrub them down they're more of a yellowish color um yeah that's pretty much it for that and then the front you can see it definitely works very well check out all of that black and stopping all right ready keep this in mind we're gonna look at the back one but we're also going to look at the other side notice how clean it is down here how dirty it is right here with that in mind let's look at the back one same thing on the back one look at how much it is stopping i might even want to drop this more or make it a little bit stiffer because it is really stopping a lot of debris right there if we look underneath the car you can see that there is not a lot of dirt or anything getting back there so look at that that works really well just like the front one now if we go around and take a look at the other side Guys, this is why you need mud flaps. First off, let's look at the back. Look at those splatters. Look at that back there. You can see all the dirt on the diffuser right there. Now that's just the back part. Let's look at the front because it is way worse. And I've washed this about a week ago. Look at that. You see all that dirt stain and splatter? Look at that, guys. That is so bad. And that's why you need mud flaps. My door handles just auto presented. Check those out, I love these. But look at that. You can see all the dirt just splattering. Like I said, that's why you need mud flaps. So that's the difference. Now you know that these are super handy, super useful. Now this is easy for me because I have a 3D printer and I have the design in my head. If you're not sure about your design or if you don't have a 3D printer, that shouldn't stop you. Let's go ahead and make it together. Send me an email, an Instagram DM, or put in the comments below your design, what you want, and we can make it happen together. I love my mud flaps. They're one of one, fully custom. They look so good and they actually function. They protect the car. So if you want your own, check out the file in the description below. If you have your own 3D printer, you could print out. 
out. Or if you would like me to make it for you, make sure to send me an email or a comment or even an Instagram DM. We can make it happen. All right, guys, that's pretty much it. And I hope you have a great rest of your day.